How, since you went down, how's life been? Kind of basketball for the first time for an extended amount of time has been taken away from you. How's, how, how has your world been since? It's been different. Um, definitely a change. So many different emotions. So many things. It's my first you know, major injury that's kept me sidelined like this. Seeing your team out there, you know, not being that competitive spirit, never having, you know, when you go to the gym, locking in, you have a routine. You know, I can kind of step away from my routine right now and, and not do whatever, but I got to have the mental capacity to um, be in a competitive mode. So I've uh, just been chilling, working my ass off um, every morning, go to rehab, um, take care of myself, try to find a new routine, try to come back with a new spirit for, for when the time comes. What have you learned about yourself in this process? Again, first time kind of being away from basketball due to a major injury. What have you learned about yourself? Nothing in specific. You learn a lot of things. When you take a step back, you see things from a different perspective. Um, when, like when you're in the game, you know, mm-hmm. when you're in a play. Um, I always compare things to basketball. When, when you're in a play, uh, you might not see the help. You might not see what was actually going on. But when you step back and look at film, it's like, okay, this is how it's going. So I kind of have like a bigger picture of everything, of how I want to come back, of, of how our team is built, of how the league is, how the league is changing. And I'm just taking all those things into consideration for when I come back and just, like I said, come back with a new life and a new spirit. Speaking of coming back, everyone who's going to watch this shit wants to know, (laughs) when is that going to happen? I'm too far to tell, honestly. I was supposed to start doing contact around this time, uh, coming up soon, so that'll be exciting. But um, too far to tell, I haven't started playing one-on-one yet, so... Process, man. Yeah, I know. Slow, yourself. slow. You 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 feel like you're ready for contact? I mean, yeah. Like for sure, but you no. Know, if I do something, I'm sore for the next yeah, three days. Three so it's hard. To, it's hard to gauge, you know, right. what's coming up. Yeah. But I mean, thing, I think what's beautiful is obviously we've come so far in medicine. And ACL used to be a major injury. It's not a major injury anymore per se because the success rate after it is. But you know, we just got a chance to see Clay come back, um, off an ACL and Achilles. We saw K- KD come back and lead the league in scoring off an Achilles. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm excited, especially too, because you're younger than both those guys. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So as long as you stick with the process, man, and make sure you're fully healthy before you come back, man, we're definitely excited to, as fans, man, see you out there rocking, man, because you really, I feel like in the last two, two and a half years, like really put yourself on the map, man, and, and, and kind of be taken down in the midst of that. I know that's got to be hard, it. but it's also making you hungry. Mm-hmm. How hard has it been to see... You know, like I said, it, the game is so mental. How hard has it been just kind of having to be around it and watch it and, you know, know that, you know, you guys lose some close games where you would have been there and it would have been a whole other story? A few. Oh, man. <laughs> Plenty. <laughs> um, it's, it's it's stressful at times. Um, I actually went to Canada for, like, the, the holidays for, like, five, six days just to get away from it mm-hmm. just because it's different when you're, you know, like I said, in, in Denver all the time and watching the routine and the grind of the season, but... When you're not playing, it's a whole different story. And it's, it sucks to watch, not watch that, but to watch that every day and go to practice and have to be in that environment all the time. So it was good for me to go home and, and take a break. And um, looking forward to All-Star break. I get to go home again, see my fam. Clear your mind. Yes, yeah. sir. What has your rehab and process look like? Six days a week, seven days, seven out of eight days. Um, going in the morning, a lot of lifting, a lot of quad work. Um, just trying to gauge my pain with how much I can do. Um, obviously not rushing nothing, but uh, just trying to get a feel for my body, um, feel for it again, and make sure it's it's comfortable doing the stuff that it uh, used to do. You were just in the gym doing a gym doing a windmill dunk. Okay, you see me out here. Mm-hmm. I was okay. sore for like seventy two hours after that. But. <laughs> <You feel> like, <laughs> so you are getting a little spurs where you feel like your yeah. own self. Yeah. So like I'll have like four good days of good lifting, and good you know good tendon. Um, uh, what's it called? Tenant routine, mm-hmm. and you know, for those next few days, I'm like, okay, I'm good. Like, I can basically play. Um, and I'll go do a, a dunk or two, and then mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm right. laid up playing Kyle with my leg up some ice. You know, is it your knee or everything around it, or I just it's just like it's simple stuff is difficult. Like okay. you know, going up the stairs, I got to be conscious about going down the stairs. I'm right. conscious about because I've been so conscious about it for so long. Mm-hmm. So it's just those little things, those little reminders that always keep me off balance. Because some days I'm like, yo, I can't run up the stairs. Really? Just trying to take the trash out, man. So I'm yeah. trying to right. just trying to get up there and. Um, yeah, I like to give our fans kind of that, you know, that look inside of like you said, things you take for granted. Yeah, you know, coming back stuff. off of it, right? The easy stuff. Yeah. Thoughts on the current team and Coach Malone? How you feel about y'all uh, team this year? I think we've done really well. All things considered, um, we have so many guys out. Um, injuries, COVID, I'm out. Um, it's just been tough. It's been a tough year. That's um, big. That's a big chunk right there. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. The different one. Sometimes when me and Yoke out there, I feel like we have a chance to win Every against game. anybody. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Y'all proved it, it. Explain the difference between him when you met him to now. 
The same guy. Same guy? S- same guy. Um, goofy, funny. <laughs> um, he's just gotten so much more comfortable playing at the pace that he wants to, and he's, he's shown that year after year. Um, and I still think he's best as yet to come. He just sees the game at a, at a different level than everybody. Yeah, I can tell he liked to live life. I seen a video of him twerking. Man, you got I don't any know. stories? You, you, you got to ask him about that one. I don't know. I, don't know that <laughs> <laughs> I saw that too. I was like, what? <laughs> Unbelievable. But he's, I mean, he to me, he's one of those unique talents. You know, you would look at him and think, okay. Yeah. But then when he gets out there and plays, I mean, there's he, there's no holes in this game. When you guard him, you don't know what you're going to get either. Right. You don't know if he's going to post up, package. spin, pass, look you off. That at is, his own pace, though. He always at his own yeah, pace. Yeah, always. Yeah.